It's moist, it's flavorful, it's my all-time favorite homemade carrot cake. Hi, you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. This easy carrot cake has hints of spices and citrus and is layered with a delicious cream cheese frosting. So let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to be making a three-layered eight-inch carrot cake and we're going to start by prepping our cake pans. Now you could go in by spraying the cake pan with the baker's spray, but what I like to do is to brush on a thin layer of melted butter. Just making sure we get it all over on the base and up the sides. We're gently going to sprinkle on some flour all around on top of the butter and the butter is going to help the flour to stick on. I'm only doing the sides right now because at the base we're going to be putting a parchment paper and we're going to dust off the excess. And I'm going to place a parchment paper round to cover the base of the cake pan. Now that we have prepped the cake pans, let's get started with the dry ingredients. To prep our dry ingredients, we're going to sift together two and a half cups of cake flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of baking soda. And for that touch of spice, we're going to go in with one tablespoon of ground cinnamon and one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And to bring out all the flavors, we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to sift this together to combine all the dry ingredients and remove any lumps that there may be in the cake flour. This is also going to help to incorporate some air into the mix. And for a little bit of crunch, I like to add half a cup of finely chopped toasted walnuts. Whisk this together so that the walnuts get well coated with the flour mix. We're going to keep this aside and start grating the carrots. We're going to go in with two and a half cups of grated carrot. Just going to cut off the ends and peel the carrot before we grate it. Using my good old fashioned grater, we're going to grate the carrot on the medium grate. You could also do this in a food processor. We're going to measure two and a half cups of the carrot and keep it aside. And we're going to be a little bit generous here. That's one cup, that's two cups and half a cup. For that perfect pop of citrus, we're going to go in with one cup of freshly pureed oranges. Just cutting them into smaller bits so that they're easier to puree. We're going to go in with the skin on, so make sure to wash them first. Also, if possible, try to buy ones which are seedless. This helps to give a lovely moisture to the cake too. Now we're going to put it into my handy dandy chopper. And this is what you're looking for. Let's measure out one cup. I pureed one and a quarter orange just to give you a rough estimate. And I'm very fond of orange marmalade so I'm adding quarter cup of orange marmalade to the pureed orange. Just going to give it a mix so that they both combine well. Wow, this gives such a lot of flavor to the carrot cake. It turns out delicious. To the bowl of our stand mixer, we're gonna add five large eggs, which are at room temperature. And to that, we're gonna add two and a half cups of dark brown sugar. And the molasses in the sugar is gonna enhance that nutty flavor in the cake. Using the whisk attachment and the mixer on high, we're gonna blend the two together. After about two minutes of beating it up, when your mixture looks something like this, it's time to add in the orange puree. And I'm going to continue whisking it on high for another five minutes. And to this, we're going to scream in one and a half cup of oil. You can use any vegetable oil. I'm using a mild extra virgin olive oil. To this, we're going to add one tablespoon of a pure vanilla extract. And now we're going to give it a quick mix. With the mixer on low or stir, we're going to spoon in the dry ingredients. Occasionally you want to give the bowl a scrape down so you can pick up anything that's stuck on the sides and on the bottom of the bowl. Once again with our mixer on stir, we're going to spoon in the grated carrot.
and you can tell that's gonna make a really delicious carrot cake. Now we're gonna divide our batter into three portions and I'm weighing it so that we get even layers. You could eyeball it too if you wanted. And for an approximate, the batter for each layer is about 620 grams. We're gonna pop these one at a time into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in it comes out clean. While the cakes are cooling, we're gonna whip up a delicious cream cheese frosting. To make the frosting, we're gonna go in with 250 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. And to that, we're gonna add 450 grams of cream cheese, which I removed from the refrigerator just an hour before. An important tip here, you wanna go in with the cream cheese that comes in a block. We're gonna mix this on a medium speed just for about a minute till it becomes smooth and cream. Once the butter and the cream cheese are silky smooth, we're gonna add one teaspoon of lemon zest. You could add vanilla extract too, but I prefer the lemon zest because it gives that nice fresh touch. A tip here is to go in with lemon zest rather than the lemon juice so that you get a nice thick frosting. And to bring our frosting together, we're gonna to add 900 grams of icing sugar or confectioner sugar. With our mixer on stir, we're gonna start spooning in the icing sugar. When mixing together cream cheese frosting, it's important not to over mix it because the moisture from the cheese will start thinning it out. Just gonna give it a scrape down. And there you have it a nice, smooth, and creamy cream cheese frosting. Once the layers of the cake have cooled completely, it's time to unmold them and assemble the cake. I'm using a 10 inch cake base, and I'm just gonna put on some of the cream cheese frosting so that the first layer stays firm on the base. And we're gonna put down our first layer. With the frosting in a piping bank fitted with a straight tip nozzle, we're gonna pipe on the first layer of frosting. Using an offset spatula, we're going to smoothen out the layer. This technique makes it so easy to get even layers of frosting between the cakes. And we're going to place the second layer on the top, face side down, so we get a smooth top. And here we go with the second layer of the cream cheese frosting. Just going to smoothen it down before we place on the third layer. And now we're going to place our third layer face side down once again. Now let's dress up our cake. We're going to pipe on some of the frosting on the sides and on the top of the cake. Using a bend scraper, we're going to smoothen out the sides. And using a large offset spatula, we're going to smoothen the top and cut off the edge. We are going in for a rustic chic look. We're going to decorate the cake with some swirls. I'm going to do it on one side. You could do it all over if you like. For some texture, we're going to add some walnut halves and chopped walnut bits. Let's cut a nice slice of this delicious cake. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Wow! And now it's time to give it a taste. It's so moist. And I can see the carrot bits. Mmm! Hey, and before I go, I know you're gonna love this recipe, so don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.